Create your own collage papers and design and construct birds inspired by the work of artist Mark Hurled. Mark Hurled is an English artist. He is primarily a printmaker and a mixed media artist. He uses many different materials, such as paint, pastel, and cut up paper all in one artwork. Mark Hurled is fascinated with the natural world and the animals who inhabit the rural environment where he lives. His artwork is vibrant, textured, and full of life. Birds are one of Mark's favorite things to draw, so we are going to use them as inspiration in our work too. These are the materials that you will need. Some thick white paper, preferably watercolor paper, but any thick paper should work. Some watercolors and a brush, water in any cup, some crayons, especially a white crayon, but you can also use some birthday candles or a tea candle, some salt, some plastic from a plastic bag or some plastic wrap, and lastly, a piece of a sponge. You can also cover your workspace in newspaper. It's important to know that watercolors like to be layered in thin layers. This means that you're going to have to wait for some of your paint to dry before adding paint on top. You can use a hair dryer to speed up this process. The more water you add to your watercolor paint, the thinner and lighter the color will be. The less water you use, the stronger the pigment or the stronger the color. While you wait for your paint to dry, design your birds. Make three boxes in your sketchbook. In each box, you are going to design a different bird. What kinds of birds do you see in your neighborhood? Or when you go for hikes or walks? When you draw your bird, think of the basic shapes, such as the head, the body, the tail, the wings. Think of each body part as a basic shape. These shapes will guide you. You can then erase any of those guiding lines. Remember, focus on the basic shapes, then you can simply connect them. The head, the neck, the body, the tail, and some feathers are all that you need. Each type of bird is going to look a little different. Now draw the top view of your wings. You can think of these as two football-like shapes with some texture or bumps on the bottom for the feathers. But be creative and create whatever type of wings that you'd like.
Thank you.